This episode is brought to you by BetUS.com. Life is back on, sports bettors, and BetUS has your MLB, NHL, NBA, UFC, PGA, and yes, NFL betting lines up for their 27th year and live betting on all of it. Log in to BETUS.com or call 800-792-3887. That's 800-79-BETUS. Bet US for 125% bonuses with the promo code DSP125 or 200% bonuses using crypto with the promo code DSP200. Customer service pros are ready to get your phone, social, and online sports betting kickoff started now. Play with the proven mainstay in the industry. Bet US. You bet, you win, you get paid. BetUS.com. Hey, this is Chris Arnold from the Dallas Mavericks and 105 Be the Fan. And I always look forward to having a drink with the boys from the Jump Sports Podcast. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Drunk Sports Podcast. Welcome back to Tailgaters in Plano on Ohio Drive. 75, six, wait, 75, 65 cent wings. Uh, something dollar buckets of beer. Uh, someday you'll figure that out. One of these days I will figure that out and how to run a board uh-huh. and how to produce a show. Right. Eventually. Uh, I am the producer of the show. Are you? No, that would be Corby when well, he was producing Chris's show. What the hell is happening show. here? I was readjusting my this belt. This is not the no pants there's nine, there's Corby. Like more belt here than there is around your waist. It used to be my belt when I was a big guy. Now it's my belt when I'm a little guy. God, dude, it goes Shut all the way around you twice. Ass. So That's I have belts terrible. like that. I, <laughs> sorry, folks, uh, um, but I use them for whoa, other things. That was now. terrible. <laughs> Yeah, there you have it. All right. Boys, it is 9.08 p.m. on a Wednesday. Uh-huh. You know what that means. And there are literally thousands, maybe millions of people watching us on YouTube it's right time. now, watching the many U- uh, Facebook channels we are on, uh-huh. uh, watching on Twitch, by the way, uh, on the I'm Twitch, glad, the DSP Media Twitch, Twitch channel. That was not what I was going for. Wow. Wow. So, being eight minutes late, boys and girls, it's a little bit of this. It's 9 p.m., and that can mean one thing and one thing only. That being that it's time for the Drunk Sports Podcast. Top nine at nine. Ladies and gentlemen, Moose and Squirrel, and people of all ages, the Drunk Sports Podcast proudly brings to you the No Shirt, Not a Club! Woo! I don't have any pants on. So, I don't have any pants right. on. being that it's the no shirt nine at nine, I still don't have a beer. I mean, you should find one of those. If I'm going to be shirtless, I got to have all the beer. Right. Just ask her. Oh, here it goes. There it is. Everyone in the bar is shirtless right now. Right there. <laughs> this is so going on TikTok. Take it off. Yeah. What happened? It's going on TikTok. <laughs> All of it. Everyone can take it. She can take it off. Yeah. You know. I might have just made a mistake saying that. <laughs> Never coming back from that one. I love you. What? Fuck you, Brad. <laughs> like mine talks. Wah, 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 wah. Come on, Griggs. Where's the damn bucket at? I need a little beer. <laughs> I don't know if you do or not. So, boys, I thought this week we would go over. What are we going over? The best science fiction action movies of all time, according to Ranker.com. It's a good time to go over that. I don't know why. It is a good time. But it is. And we do have an honorable mention, Lance. Well, that's good. <laughs> Your favorite well, honorable mention. It's not a top nine and nine with an honorable mention. Or with shirts. From 1983. <laughs> be more embarrassed than my fucking life. After a daring mission, by the way, we had a conversation in the bathroom. Butt to butt, urinal to urinal. Yeah. When I said... We're taking our shirts off. He's like, no, butt, I'm not. not I said, yes, you nut. are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yeah. Like that went on for like 30 seconds. Okay. You see who won, right? I mean, 
Is it because he was like going to be the only Never guy up here? Never my love. Oh, wait, wait, got to pose. Days. Uh, can we please just move along? I don't want my cord to get so fresh put, again, so I'm going back in. I need to put my shirt back on. Can we please move nope, along? Nope. <laughs> hey, look, I look like Colby. Get it? Oh, what is this? Another buttery nipple? Are you going to put it on me? What happened? Stacy, come drink this. That's. I don't know if that's how that's supposed to. I can't taste it yet. You don't taste it with your nipple. That's not what she said. What happened? Thank you, Deanna. That's right. <sighs> don't ever That's do really that good. shit again. That's really good. Yeah, it's good. That's a special appearance. D from 1983. Get the fuck away from me. Get, from me. <laughs> Get away from me. Are y'all hugging? Get away from me. Are y'all hugging, me? Are Lance, hugging Lance, it out? Get away from Lance is me. getting attacked by randoms. Get away from me. Go away. From 1983, boys. After a daring mission to rescue Han Solo, the Rebels dispatched to Endor to destroy the second Death Star. Meanwhile, Luke struggles to help Darth Vader back from the dark side without Is this number falling nine? into the Emperor's trap. Wow. This is honorable mention as we have what? Star Wars Episode Six: Return of the Jedi. Okay. I've never been in this bar topless. I have. I, once before. <laughs> Ever. I have. Number nine. Are you ready for the list? Yes. The actual list. Return of the Jedi. Was honorable mention. It. My wife is so embarrassed she won't even turn around and look your at Your wife's me. not even here. My wife is right I'll there. I'll make your other one. What <laughs> happened with your Get away face? from me. 1999. <laughs> Number nine. When a beautiful stranger leads a computer hacker to a forbidden underworld, he discovers the shocking truth. The I'm life putting my shirt on and taking my pants is off. It's the elaborate deception of an it's evil cyber intelligence. So the Matrix is number nine. The Matrix is number nine. As long as they didn't say the Matrix 2 and or 3, I guess we're nope, good. just the first one from 1999. That, that was all right. Number eight. A 17-year-old high school student is accidentally sent 30 years into the past in a time machine invented by his close friend and eccentric scientist. Yeah, Back to the Future. Back to the Future, number eight, on our top science fiction slash action movies of all time. I don't know if that completes action According movie. to Ranker.com. No, no, no. What was he proposing to you just now? I think he was trying to pinch my Why is your shirt on? So I'm taking my pants off. Oh, your microphone's off. You start, put your shirt on. <laughs> You're not allowed on the segment anymore. <sighs> Colby number seven. Uh, from 1993. A pragmatic paleontologist visiting an almost complete theme park yeah, okay. is tasked yeah, with yeah, protecting yeah. a couple of Jurassic, kids Jurassic park. Jurassic park. after a power failure causes the park's attractions well, to run away. If I take my pants off. Yeah, you would get pulled out of here. Jurassic, uh, not I'm not me. pulling nothing when you take your pants off. Well, I mean, I got your shirts off. I just figured I'd get the lower half of No, no, no. We're not, it doesn't equal out. It does, Jurassic <laughs> Park, it's it number work. seven. You sure? I'm Colby, pretty sure. number six. Tamara. From 1986. 57 years after surviving an apocalyptic, it's, it's hard to say. Apocalyptic attack aboard her space vessel by merciless space creatures. A civilian Aliens. advisors to the That's United Aliens. States Colonial Marine Corps awakens from hypersleep and tries to warn everyone who will listen about her predators. Uh, it's, it's like wait, y'all said different movies. I need to know which one you Aliens. Aliens. Aliens, plural. Yes. Plural. Well, that would be correct because it was 1986. Aliens. I got by the way, I thought that was better than Alien. Yeah, it was. I, I, you, seriously, you leave me hanging? Oh, yeah. I, I covered that up. Who's an alien? What? You are. I am. I'm here illegally. I'm from Canada, eh? That's uh, what I always thought. Come over to the dark side, you knob. Hard your, your ass. 
Number five, a cyborg. I should Terminator. be all I need is eh, identical to the one who failed to kill his target. Oh, it's T2. Excuse must me. Must now protect her 10 year old son from a more advanced and powerful cyborg. T2, as they called it, right? Back in the day? Yes. Now it's still known as Terminator 2, but back in the day it was just T2. Well, it's still T2. And that's where today. we got D2, the Mighty Duck sequel, was just D2 as they were making fun of T2. Well, they were going. They were making a sequel to R two. So, oh, yeah. I Science see what you were doing there. Movie joke. I saw what you were doing there. Big red, big red. Number three. Oh, sorry. Number four. Number four. After a space merchant vessel receives an unknown transmission as a distress call, one of the crew is attacked by a mysterious life form, and they soon realize that its life cycle, Colby. Has just begun. 1979. Okay, so that's alien. Yes, sir. Wait, I'm getting there. Hang on. That is alien, sir. The original alien from 1979. By the way, I watched the original alien at the age of nine. On an, a, one of my friends in the neighborhood, they're like they had HBO, right? Like, I'm talking like not, like when it came out, 1979. They had HBO. I never even heard of cable TV yet. So we went over to their house after school and watched the original Alien on HBO at the age of nine. Yeah, that whole uh, chest buster scene might have been a little bit much. Dude, that was my favorite. That might be one of my favorite movie scenes of all time. <laughs> Like, even now. And they made fun of it in Spaceballs. It was great because he was dancing and wore a hat. And yeah. Uh, <clears> the <throat> guy awesome. on the bed was still alive. 197. I'm sorry. Number three. From 1984, a human soldier is sent into the past to stop a cyborg killing machine, which has been programmed to execute a young woman whose son yeah, is the Terminator. key to humanity's future it's salvation. Ter- yeah, so that, 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 that would be the first Terminator. Yeah, so Terminator 2 is definitely better than Terminator. No, I agree. And by the way, these descriptions for these movies, except the Star Wars one, I wrote. All I, right. I hope you like them. All right. Because I had to like consolidate them all into one sentence. Uh, number two. Number two. Number two. Number two. So again, I can't really aggregate Star Wars descriptions. Okay. Luke Skywalker joins a force of the Jedi Knights, a cocky pilot, a Wookiee, and two droids to save the galaxy from the Empire's world-destroying battle station Yeah, that would be while Star also Wars, attempting to hope. rescue Princess Leia from a mysterious Darth Vader. That'd be A New Hope. Episode 4, A New Hope. And boys, you're number one. Science fiction slash action movie of all time, according to Ranker.com. All right? Yeah. Not my picks, not my list. Ranker.com, which I, is a series of internet votes. You can already tell you what it is. Internet people. Colby, do you have a guess? Uh, that's Empire Strikes Back. Colby saw my list. No, that's just... That's just 1980 after the rebels are brutally overpowered by the empire on the ice planet Hoth. Luke Skywalker begins Jedi training with Yoda while his friends are pursued across the galaxy by Darth Vader and the bounty hunter Boba Big Red Fett. Would you you pick anybody else to play that part? Only Big Red. Would you pick anybody else to play that part? I mean, a space bounty hunter? I mean, no, no. Good. Only no, Big Red. I, there it is. So there's your list. The I, top I was asking, like, all Jabba time. Oh. <laughs> what? He was thinking Job of the Hut. Why were, is that what you think about when you masturbate? Yeah, because he's on the toilet going, ooh, 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 ooh. Or do you think of the green chick with the ears? Mata poo poo jerk off. I don't know if that's the exact line, but you know. That was a quote. I mean, sure. The Euro Sports Podcast.